Hello and welcome to another video of Fallen on the Net. And this is the Pine phone, and that's the Pine 64 keyboard case. No, just kidding, it's not. This is just an old PDA that I uh, repurposed for this. Um, and this is a 3D printed case which has a nice back door for these those uh, kill switches. But that nice back cover and stuff is not what I wanted to talk about. I just wanted to talk about some well software developments and such that have been happening while I've been failing to make another video. And I'm not going to look at a distro here. Um, but I'm just going to go through some apps and stuff that happened here on my uh, Arch Linux ARM install or Danknix install, whatever you want to call it. So this is a new feature in Fosh to start with, and it's show only adaptive apps. Uh, I think quite a few people were confused by this because suddenly they had less apps, right? Same for me. Uh, even though I fixed this for a few apps, um, right? This these are a lot more uh, actually a bit too many for Fosh to scroll smoothly here. But yeah, um, so some apps don't show up, and that is due to something that I've written a blog post about. Then something else happened, and that is video acceleration. Now, we've had video playback on the PinePhone for a while, but it's been, well, not the best experience to uh, be friendly, right? And uh, But thankfully, this is about to change. And I'm using a clapper here, and I'm going to use the demo file that Ryan Daniels used too when he uh, first reported about this. And well, let's full screen this. And now let me show you what this is doing to the phone and CPU load, right? Looks pretty much okay. So there is some CPU load, uh, I mean, HTOP itself is one of the culprits here. But all in all, this accelerated video playback, which is super smooth, this uh, 1080p file, um, it's all going well. So now let's test maybe another file too. Okay, maybe I should pause playback first. Or even end it. Well, and now let's open another file, which I haven't tried before. So yeah, let's hope this goes well. Uh, and try Big Bug Bunny, which I know is 60 FPS. And doesn't play at all, right? So this is really a codec driven it really matters that you have a file that can be accelerated by the Cedrus video processing unit in the Pine phone and this file apparently can't because well, wrong codec. So H264 works, other stuff not so much. So this has limitations uh, but it's still nice that we have this now. Uh, just for comparison, let me briefly open the same file we played previously in MPV. Take that from the terminal because, well, so. And now watch that CPU load in comparison. So, yeah, this is indeed better. Right? And it's going to land with GStreamer 1.20. Okay, enough boring video stuff. Also great is the progress that Casts has made. Casts is the Plasma mobile and convergent podcast app. They've added 
a search based on podcastindex.org to easily discover podcasts, so which is new. And you can just go here and then you subscribe to one more podcast. Boy, that's a great show. And also what works for at least for me with this app is continuous playback. So it manages manages to inhibit suspend, which is pretty useful, right? You don't wanna have your podcast playback stop all the time, but still the Pine Phone is not the device for listening to lots of podcasts because when active the CPU <laughs> drains the battery quite quickly, as you may know. And I've been playing a bit with Signal clients. Axolotl is one. Gurk is another one for the terminal, uh, which I think doesn't really work right now. Yeah, it wants to link. I, I disabled that. So this is the linking process, which I'm not going to go through with right now. Also got Signal desktop running, which doesn't fit the screen at all. Uh, I don't want to show you my private conversations here, so sorry. Uh, know more about that. I would also like to talk about progress with megapixels. Well, it's GTK4 since release 1.0 and now uh, with 1.1 there have been fixes to the preview color. I will edit in a picture right here that maybe illustrates this a bit. But yeah, it's maybe hardly noticeable in video, but in practice, it's quite the change for me. Let's have a last minute app tip, and that is Modrana, which is a GPS and navigation app uh, that you may know if you've ever used SafeShares. Um, it has a little trouble for me here fitting initially, and this is, um, I think, Mapnik with the open river maps overlay. Has a bunch of features including tracks and I know that that is something uh, many people have been looking for in the past so maybe give that a try. I've created a package build script that should work on Arch and Manjaro and if it doesn't just create a bug report. Yeah so that's some progress that we've seen with the Pine Phone. Uh, this is my setup. If you've got questions about any of those apps, please get in touch. You should find most or all of them on limnopapps.frama.io, which by today has 305 apps. So I really need to get its replacement uh, Linux phone apps.org going, uh, which is going to be hard work and tough. But yeah, so I hope to get back to making more videos about a bunch of devices I have here uh, soon. And yeah, it's, um, I hope to find the time. Thanks for watching and talk to you soon. Bye bye.